Okay, we are here in the ground in Orlando, Florida, talking about SAT Sapphire 2012. This is a tech event where the top tech trends are coming together around SAP, Global Leader in Applications, and um, they're powering all the businesses out there that uh, manufacture things and run, run anything around the world has either SAP running on. I think what's the stat? Uh, one in every five companies has SAP, something like that. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com. That's the reference point for tech innovation, and I'm joined with my co-host. Uh, I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and we're here with Fawad Zakaria, and we're talking mobility, uh, a theme, John, yeah. of this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we've been talking on SiliconAngle.com about cloud mobile and social for a few years now. Mobile, it's the obvious home run. Everyone's on mobile. Game, including the mobile. Um, Mobile is the preferred platform. So talk about the trends that you're seeing here around some of the developments and some of the business changes around mobility. Um, thanks, John and uh, Dave. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, mobility, of course, is an exciting area for us. So um, so lots and lots of activity here at Sapphire around mobility. Uh, we've got our platforms. We've got folks developing applications on them. As um, most of you know, um, Mobility is just uh, everywhere. Consumer mobility is really what, what's driving a lot of our activity. But lots of what's going on in the consumer world is being adopted by the enterprise. And so the mobility products increasingly um, are in demand in the enterprise. People are coming and asking the IT departments for mobile stuff. And we're really helping transform the way businesses function by moving a lot of applications that people were using on laptops other kinds of devices on newer and fancier mobile devices with user experiences that are really transforming user experience. So um, so you're seeing lots and lots of stuff in Sapphire, lots of customer interest, lots of customers really doing both security, which is, which is really changing dramatically, but also all kinds of new use cases that mobility is enabling for the first time. For the folks out there that are watching, everything's on Facebook this week with the IPO coming, huge valuation, more billionaires being minted around the world, uh, mostly in Palo Alto where I live in, <laughs> which is good for real estate Sorry. prices. Uh, uh, the schools will be overcrowded soon when they start having Facebook children, as we say. Um, <laughs> but the point is is that that's a social network in the consumer space. And, we're, and, and obviously with Apple, with mobility, the iPhone, um, the App Store concept, iTunes, everyone understands that. And developers have made huge strides and, and dollars and made a lot of wealth, Instagram uh, to name a few. Mm -hmm. um, your CEO, uh, Schnabe, Jim Schnabe, said that the next wave of innovation is going to be around business social networking, connecting people with people, people with business, businesses with businesses. You guys run an app store. Huge opportunity. Can you talk about that opportunity and, and why it's such an innovation um, priority for you? Um, John, uh, not surprisingly, I couldn't agree more with Jim on this. Um, uh, obviously, mobile is really enabling a whole new set of connections, and social is a part of that revolution as well. So um, uh, App Store uh, for us is a, is a dramatic way to get the community involved, to really gain, ha get, help them gain access to over 200,000 of SAP's customers. Um, everybody is familiar now with the store concept. Everybody goes to the various, uh, various favorite stores, download their, download their apps, their Facebooks, their games, um, all the various distractions of modern life. But increasingly, it's being used for productivity in the businesses. And so at SAP, we have um, created a really cool experience for the enterprises around the store where we're getting all the entrepreneurs who want to in innovate for the enterprise, um, for any application in the enterprise to gain access to that enterprise customer. And in that instance, uh, the app is a wonderful channel where all our customers will go, we'll drive traffic to those. And so the best ideas will get adopted by our customers um, uh, in a totally new environment, which, um, which of course, is very unusual for, for SAP customers to realize, but the app, app Store creates a completely new environment for us. So for what, what are the, what are the metrics you're looking for that are, that are success? I mean, number of apps, obviously, right? And, Absolutely. And that's the big one, but talk about some of those shares. So, so number of apps is certainly one of them, but of course the number of apps itself doesn't mean much if those apps are not being engaged. Right. So what we're really looking forward to is how many downloads do those apps get? Which of these are most popular? Which are, those, which are the ones highly rated by the community? How much does this, does this community engage in building newer stuff, but creating value on top of stuff? So I would say that ultimately our measure is, is, is going to be the amount of money our partners make and SAP makes from those particular applications, but that's going to be determined by how many apps there are, what kind of value they're creating, how many people are using them. So you've heard us articulate a billion users. That's really what we want to get to. We, we know that mobile is the path to a billion users, 
and mobile, if we get to the billion users, is going to make our partner ecosystem tremendous amounts of money and us a lot of money. Now they say go big or go home. I guess you guys are going big. You know, one of the, the, the metrics that I love that we, we hear whenever we do uh, VMworld is they say for you know, every dollar spent on a VMware license, $15 is spent within the ecosystem. Um, you don't hear that a lot from other suppliers, but you, you, and you're not using that specific metric, but you alluded to something similar just then. Is, is that something we're going to hear more of? You, you're going to hear a lot of that from us. Uh, in our traditional environments, uh, people heard the, the, the number 1 to 8 or 1 to 7 or 1 to 10 all the time where the service, service providers right. Uh, we're making that amount of revenue for every dollar of license we were generating. Yeah, very but confined, though. You know? But very confined, and frankly, that's the model that we're changing. We're fundamentally altering that model because customers like fast time to value. They want instant gratification. That's what mobile is. That's what uh, that's what all the newer applications are like. And in this instance, our our success is going to be measured by how many of our partners build businesses on top of our platform. So the more of them that put applications that we can make successful into our channel, not just today's SAP customers, but tomorrow's SAP customers, you're going to hear lots and lots from us about that, and we're going to do whatever it takes to make that ecosystem successful. You guys are obviously have a great technical DNA. We're going to have a hot, hot um, founder on early or later in, in the afternoon here. But you got you got to get this ecosystem juiced up a little bit, right? We've heard obviously you want a million more developers. Mm -hmm. You got to create incentives, right? So there's a huge opportunity in the enterprise, yet it's still early. Yeah. What are you guys doing to get the word out? How do you attract those developers? How do you educate those developers out there that we're talking to right now, young guns out there saying, hey, you can actually develop on Facebook, but it's money on the enterprise. How do you <laughs> how do you say that to them? So, so John, great point, and I would make uh, two points to it. So. There is not only money to be made here, but we're also, to those developers who might be listening out there, making it easy for developers to develop the way they want to develop it. As long as they develop cool applications, we just announced uh, three partnerships with Sencha, Accelerator, uh, and Adobe PhoneGap, which allows developers to write on any platform they choose to develop against the SAP platform and make money through SAP customers, but develop they want to, the way they want to develop it. Now, if I say about two things, distribution and monetization, now, what right. do you offer them what assurance is going to be shared with the folks out there that you will take care of them? And you know, it's not charity, but if they develop a good app, they want to have comfort that with distribution and, and cash. Yeah, and, and we really want to make them uh, uh, as much money uh, as they can. We only take a small referral, but we're going to encourage, we're going to co-market, we're going to send them off to as many SAP customers as we, mo as we can, and that's where the App Store comes in. So that's going to be our primary channel. You're going to see us promoting that a lot, and you're going to see partner apps that have demand and that customers want rise to the top. And where can they go real quick to get a URL or website or address you're going to say? Um, uh, so, want more information? Uh, so, so right now on, on the top of my head, I don't have one, but we just launched the Jumpstart program this Sunday. And we have a, a landing page for developers where they can go and learn all about our mobile as well as our store and how the process works for them to develop an application and put them up in the store. So just search the web. We had the Venture Guys on earlier. We heard about the initiative out there. The Venture Guys are handing actually rain checks yeah. for investment. And you also have a startup incubator conference going on in Palo Alto. Absolutely. Both great news for developers and for entrepreneurs. Um, the huge success of LinkedIn. Um, obviously, I'm bullish on the strategy, so we'll, yeah. we'll plug here. The success of LinkedIn to me is a, is a uh, pretext to what I see on the entrepreneur side that a tsunami of innovation and money making is going to come into the business side of the sector and App Store and for enterprise. So absolutely, you'll be up on iTunes, right? You've got a, you got a, you got, looks like you got a place to place all the iTunes. That's exactly. And there's uh, store uh, uh, sap com, I believe. Is that that's you guys, right? Yeah. There. So. But you I need a yeah, you I need I a know. Silverlight download, and I didn't do it. No, no, no. This is now an HTML5, so there's a new app already out. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, which so. is a which is a so fantastic user experience. Coming soon, yeah. I'm okay. excited to see the HTML5. Well, well, thank you very much. It's Wonderful. Like we got the CIO coming on, and uh, Oliver Boostman coming on. Thank People you are right. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, John. Get, get a break.